everyone, it's Fashionista Seems. And I wanted to do like a park. I built a gazebo, no, no, I can't even say it, gazebo off camera. But I wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out. And I didn't want to be on here for two hours trying to figure it out. It really didn't take me as long as I thought it would. But I think it turned out very nicely, actually. So if I do this again, then I should be able to build it on camera. It really wasn't as hard by using the decks and stuff that so you can turn them around. And to use the, the poles and stuff like that to put the roof and, and the, I'd say, kind of an arch thing on there. I don't know if it's like a, a sided molding or something that goes onto that part. But I, I wanted to make the gazebo because there's a lot of parks that have them. And usually they can have more than one. But I, I decided to build a pretty good large one. Put a grill, some tables and benches and things like that out there. So you can kind of enjoy it when you're out, you know, out enjoying the warm weather. A nice place, you know, to sit and eat and have parties or whatever you want to do or just family get-togethers I tried to put lights but seemed was curved like that they wouldn't fit properly so I had to just let that go so I found other things to do instead I put a couple of poles on each side I wanted it to be lit up somewhere you could actually see the inside because, you know, sometimes your family gatherings and things like that can be in the late afternoon or evening, at, you know, times. Well, I decided to do this, and I had to kind of rearrange them here and there to get them to fit. But at the end, you'll see where I lit it up for a little bit at night. I thought it looked very nice. And I know the sun shines on it. It's actually all that's supposed to be white. But since... The sun is the color it is. It makes it all look like a kind of a cream color. And it all it looked like to me it matched, so I just left it alone. I put some little candles and things like that. The lanterns and things that you could see, like it light, like kind of lit, lit up inside too. And nice little flower pots here and there to kind of have a little bit of decoration. And that's a little fern in the back. Why not? Little flowers on the tables to give it a little bit of a pretty look. I really wanted to do things around there, but I guess because it was a round building, it really wasn't going to work very much. I wanted the whole thing lit up all the way around, but I don't know. Maybe I'll figure out something. I tried different stuff. It just didn't to me look really that great and it covered up some of the things I did inside the gazebo so I decided not to do it I like those big little flower pot things there those with the wood crate looking I thought they were very very nice I thought about putting those around but then it kind of covered up stuff too and I didn't really want to cover anything up I want you to be able to actually see everything so I decided not to use those also but I did use some little things for decorations in front. What about using fencing? And I didn't really care for how that looked either, so I just left it more of an open park area. I used some beautiful trees and things though, and I thought. I used some, a couple or so of the light up trees, maybe four I think. And then of course the dogwoods, which are actually, besides the weeping willows, is two of my favorite trees. I love the way they look. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I think a park looked very nice with those kinds of trees in there. I know they only, they only bloom in the spring, you know, of course around Easter and things like that, but still they're beautiful trees. I remember growing up with a weeping willow tree and a white dogwood, and I just absolutely loved them. We used to sit underneath the weeping willow tree and act like it was a hideout. The ice storm <coughs> we had back when I was a kid killed it. And then lightning struck our dogwood tree and killed it. So, yeah. 
I think it's a very nice lit pathway. It's also very lovely. Put a couple of big fountains in there. I thought it looked very, very beautiful. I really enjoyed doing this. They really did a garden. I'm doing horse outsides and things. Of, you know, people, whoever's houses I built or whatever like that. But just a little park area for people to come and sit and enjoy nature. Or maybe just enjoy family. I put the llamas out there because they're going to some stuff right there. I thought about a couple of those topiary trees. I, nah, I'll just, just put the little llama things up there and a couple of little things like that. Little cactus plants because, you know, it is an Oasis Spring, so why not? I put the beautiful flowers all the way around. It actually fit. I was actually shocked. I don't know how well it's going to fit with it being like that, the round shape. But I think they, they look very beautiful on the outside. I always enjoyed sitting outside. You know, as long as you don't have a bunch of bees and wasps and flies and all that mess messing with you. I know that comes part of it, you know, but you know. Yeah, I tried to do fencing and it just didn't look right. I tried to move everything and I was like, nah, forget it. And that covered the little plants there and the little. I distributed some benches around, all around the outside, so people could actually sit and talk and just whatever. You know, if you're walking down the street, and you've been walking for a while, you know, you maybe you're down and where there's a district area with a, with different restaurants and, sh you know, shops and stuff like that where you're doing whatever, it's always kind of nice to come across a bench you can just sit and rest on and enjoy whatever, just sitting there for a little bit while you do whatever else you want to do later on. close to the end of the video folks i really appreciate everything and thank you so much everyone what do we say goodbye everybody hell yeah